Today's webinar will show you one-click payroll processing available in Darwin. Darwin provides you the ability to actually process payroll for customers that submit transactions via the web or are salary clients or the payroll is similar every pay, pay cycle to actually use the auto feature available in Darwin to essentially process the entire payroll in one click. So this screen right here, the build screen, actually sets up those options for you. So when you go ahead and set up the customer, or even um, you can have multiple customers involved in one payroll option, you actually can set up what the options are for that payroll process. So at this point, you can actually go ahead and click the auto button, and it'll process the entire payroll in one click. So it not only includes creating the checks and posting the, the payroll, it also will create the invoice, create your general ledger transactions and post those, create your AP transactions and post those, and also create any AR transactions ready for cash receipts for your invoicing. So I've actually run the entire payroll behind the scenes. It's now using our workflow module to distribute um, invoicing and check information as appropriate for this customer, including uploading it to the web using our auto upload features so the customer can see this information on the web. Internally, I have the invoicing screen right here posted. So if I need to preview any of the reports associated with this, I can go ahead and preview them down on um, on my screen if I need to. Once again, however, the system is going is already already sending this information um, to the website for the customer to get to themselves, and also by email for the customer to review and see the information. So, if I needed to print the checks at this point, I can go ahead and click print checks. If there are any hard checks or any checks that do need to be printed. Of course, once again, the system can automatically distribute this information if it's 100% direct deposit. In this case, we have a mixture. We have three checks to print, one deposit stub to email. So by actually clicking the print button, it knows how to distribute these particular checks. So we'll go ahead and email the one to the one employee that signed up to have their check stubs emailed, and the rest of the checks will actually be printed off to a printer. In this case, I'm just printing it off to a Adobe Acrobat so we can actually see the checks come on screen once it actually prints and renders the Adobe file. So it'll go ahead and give us the, the Adobe checks here on screen. So there, there's your checks. And if I jump over to my email system, close out the check printer, jump over to the email system, you can see the employee that receives their check um, deposit electronically via email has already gotten it. And they can open up their check stub. It is secured by a password. So it maintains if you're depending upon how you format your check stubs, depending upon what type of information you actually show. And of course, that's customizable. You know that's protected by a password, so no identities can be stolen. So there's their check stub information. Other employees might receive information like this without the check stub actually attached, but they can actually have the information customizable in the in the actual body of the email, some basic information, and then they can sign into their web portal using this link and they'll actually see their paycheck stub information online. Not only their current paycheck stub, but using the My Payroll feature, they can see their entire check history and choose any check from the check history and it'll render that check stub online for them. So it's a library of their entire uh, history of checks with your company. Um, in addition to that, the customer can also receive a notification about their invoice. Um, by email. So payrolls run, the invoicing information is sent to them automatically. There's an option where we can actually even preview um, reports and attach it to the email if appropriate for the customer. They also can sign into the self-service portal via the web, clicking this link, and see their information through the website. So they would, they would click the link, they would be prompted for a user ID and password, and they would be shown their invoicing information um, they can see it right through their, pay, their invoices and reports. So they can see their current invoice, or they can see a directory of all invoices that have ever, ever been sent to them. And then, of course, once again, they can choose any of the invoices out there and see the actual invoices online. Same as if um, we're viewing them in the back office, they can see the same information out here online. Thank you. That's one click payroll processing.